Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ivano TV. Kindly subscribe. So guys, uh Uyu ni Muganda. Alikuwa hapa Saudi. Lakini sasa madam wake haja specify alikuwa na charge simu ndio stima ikalipuka ama ni nini. Lakini wanasema tu ni electricity. Si una madam wake alisema tu ni electricity. Unajua hii kizungu yao huwezi elewa. Imagine amekufa. Amekufa tu hivyo na alikuwa hapa Saudi. Na nimeona mimi as long as mtu ni Mwafrika na kitu imemwapenia Saudi Arabia, mimi I as a girl from online media hata kama natumia Kiswahili, I have to update you guys eh. Uh, na I told you niko kwa ma, niko kwa ma groups mingi sana za WhatsApp za nini wa Uganda na mnaonanga tukifanya video na wao hapa. So huyo ni Muganda na ameweza kutuacha. So guys, haki Saudi Arabia yani Gulf at large hata uwezi elewa ni nini inaendelea. Lakini nasema anga tu kama ni Mungu amependa haya, mimi ni nani nipinge? If God has has taken someone who am I to correct what God has done? Hmm? You guys unaona mtu ameenda kwa choo, ameenda kwa bathroom, ndio huyo ameslide, amekufa, amekufa on the spot. Unaona tu mtu ndio huyo kwa bafu, anaoga, AC imelipuka. Unaona mtu ndio huyo amelala tu. Mnakumbuka mtu, mnakumbuka kuna video nyingine ilisambaa sana ili, ilisemekana. Unaona hii Mukaif hii mukaif ati walikuwa wanasema ndiyo ilipuka ikauwa huyo kadama. Yaani sijui sijui ni sema nini. Mtu tu ana akitembea tu hivi anaanguka inasemekana ni pressure anakufa. Sasa hii mnaona Derek. Derek Nyaudi vile alienda kwa choo tu akaanguka akakufa on the spot. Hmm? Hata huko amemaliza hata miezi tano. Akakufa on the spot. Yaani mimi naomba tu tujieke kwa maombi na let us use this as our weapon. And another thing guys what I can say ni tukae tu tukisameheana. Kama unajua kuna mtu ulimkosea just forgive that somebody. Yaani tusamehane. Na wacheni niwaambie watu wangu. Kuna mambo mengine sisi wenyewe hatuwezi zuia. Na kuna mambo mengine mimi naweza sema ni premature death. Haki mimi nitasema tu ni premature death kwa sababu Yaani inauma sana. Unajua nyinyi amjui vile hiyo kitu inaumanga mtu. Umekuja uarabuni kutafutia watoto wako ama maybe kubadilisha maisha ya kesho ama maybe kujengea wazazi wako ama maybe kutafuta school fees. Alafu unakuja tu girl unakufa maybe unaanza kuumwa na tumbo unakufa unaanza kuumwa na kichwa unakufa unakuwa tu mgonjwa unakufa ha? ama unakuwa na mimba accidentally una, like kuna muganda mwingine wametuma tu kwa group saa hii huyo muganda alikuwa anajifungua hata hata ndio hii hebu niwaonyeshe ndio hii sijui kama mtaona kusoma Unaona huyo ni mamake mwenye yako hapa. Huyo ni mamake huyo. Jika huyo, huyo ni mamake. Mwili umefika Kenya. Imagine alikuwa anajifungua. Hii ndio maiti mnaona hapa. Hii ndio maiti. Imagine alikuwa anajifungua ni muuganda. Ni muuganda. Imagine amekufia ame tu Dubai akijifungua mtoto. Ona mamake mpaka ako kwa wheelchair, eh? Maybe hata uwezi jua, uwezi jua hata alikuwa ameenda Dubai maybe kufanya kazi, maybe abadilishe maisha ya mamake, alafu akakufa accidentally. Anaitwa Kakai Diana. Ni muganda. Yaani sisi 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 wa Kenya na waganda kimeturamba viproper. Mbona mimi sio nangi wa Tanzania na wa Somalia na wa Ethiopia wakikufa sana kama sisi? Hai kimeturamba sisi wa Kenya na sisi sisi wa Kenya na Waganda ndio tunateseka sijawahi jua ni kwa nini tunateseka sana sana Saudi Arabia 
tunateseka sio mchezo ha hebu muniambie nyinyi nyinyi mnaona aje hmm? yani mimi nimekaa tu chini hivi sasa madam anasema ni electricity yes what happened what what about the electricity was he charging the phone ama alikuwa anachemsha maji Sijui kama mumeangalia hiyo video polepole pole mkaona ama alikuwa anapiga nguo pasi What about electricity? Hawa Waarabu na wao wanafaa warudishwe shuleni na cha lazima wakasome English vizuri. Electri- electricity what has it what has it done to her? Ndio pia na sisi tujiathari. Ama maybe they are creating their own stories ju ama kama ama alishika stima na nini lakini huku stima za huku zinakuanga protected mimi mpaka nasikia nimeanza kuogopa lakini mimi siwezi ogopa kwa maana biblia inasema hivi thousand may be on your side one thousand at your right hand but no evil will come near you because you have made your god to be your refuge na inarudi tena inatuambia Exodus chapter 23 verse 20 nasema For I have prepared uh, for I will send angels to guard you on your way unto the place that I've prepared for you Mimi najua mu, yani hiyo in, verse inasema Mungu aliku, alikutumia malaika ulipokuwa unaenda kwa hiyo nyumba ukafika kwa hiyo nyumba anasema atakutumia ulinzi atakutumia security na Sam sijui ni 105 ama ni 105 hapo hivyo inasemanga hivi I will keep you are going out and you are coming in sins and evermore mimi ninakuanga na imani Mungu ataniongoza ninapotoka Kenya na ninaporudi Kenya ataniongoza nitakuwa mzima atanipigania mimi ninakuanga na imani nyingine sijui inatokanga wapi Mungu nipee wisdom kama Solomon Give me courage like nani alikuwa na courage ni David mwenye hapana huyo ni hiyo ni brave ama inaitwa aje mimi sijui. Hata nimezia. Ni, unajua mimi I, I don't like documenting some things. I like written some uh, uh, and joy. Give me give me faith like Daniel in the lions of den. Give me hope like Moses in the wilderness. Give me heart like David. Lord, be my defense so I can face my giants with confidence. Hey. Mnaona hapo eh? Mimi I like I just like uh, I like um, writing Napenda ku document vitu zangu maybe kwa kama kama kwa PDF but saa zingine I prefer noting them down Ukiangalia hapa mimi na my friend nakwambia na kuanga na vitabu karibu kumi hii ikipotea hiyo kama pale unaona kuna tano hii ni moja eh? Alafu uiponi yangu sitakangi kuacha na shindanga na uiponi yangu karibu mimi. E, nikisikia, nikisikia, nikisikia ni kama ni nyoka, eh? Nikisikia nikiota na nyoka, naamka nasema na rebuke, nasema unaona guys saa zingine ukikuwa katika temptation ita majina Yesu. Kuna wimbo F, mbo, nani Ezekiel ameimba amesema Jina Yesu jina nana ni jina lenye uwezo ni jina lenye mamlaka ni jina ina nena nana nena nena nana kuna ka wimbo pastor Ezekiel ameimba ah hiyo wimbo nasikianga ikiniguza hiyo wimbo inakuanga tamu sana hmm? jina Yesu ita majina yote Inasemanga ita majina yote. Hiyo wimbo inanitoanga mahali yani guys. Kwa hivyo wakati ambao unakuja katika nchi za warabuni, usiache Mungu wako, tembea na Mungu wako my friend. Usijaribu kuacha, Mungu atakupigania. 
Mimi nimeona vile Mungu amenipigania kwa sababu sikuacha Mungu wangu Kenya. Mimi hata hako ka wimbo ndiye waka. Gojeni niwaekee msikia. Naona ako akawimbo na akapenda sana. Linaponya jina lenzi jina Yesu linaponya. Hmm? Linatetemesha kila mtu. Ah, hita jina Yesu, eh? Kama unasikia um, ulikuwa umelala, unasikia nyoka zikiwa zimejaa zi, zi kwa nyumba ya Mwarabu, amka my friend, kemea hiyo kitu na maombi ya saa tisa. Unaona maombi ya saa tisa? My friend, ile siku uta, uta kuwa unaamka kila siku unaomba tu saa tisa kila siku unajinyima unajisacrifice unaamka saa tisa my friend utakuja kuniambia utakuja kuniambia hapa tu maombi ya saa tisa mimi imenisaidia imenisaidia mimi hata nase, nasemanga afadhali nijinyime nijisacrifice niamke saa tisa niombe mimi guys My mom aliniambia my friend wacha ni kuambi. Ukienda huko Saudi Arabia tutakuwa tunaamka saa tisa. Tunaomba tunaomba. Mamangu anapenda kuendesha rosary. Kama hatuna rosary tunaomba tu uh, mimi napenda tu kuomba uh, uh, baba yetu uliye mbinguni. Tunaomba 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 tunaomba. Hey. Yaani maombi Uki, ukifanya maombi yani ya, yani when your prayer becomes your hey my friend i'm telling you uta unasikianga tu kama unacheza huko nchu mbinguni na malaika unaonanga umefunga tu macho hivi unaona tu watu wengi wamevaa nguo za white hmm? wana u, wako hapa tu hmm? my friend wacha ni kwambie sio sio uongo na saa zingine ji saa zingine guys Ka, m, lakini huku sasa kwa Waarabu najua nyinyi watu wengi ya mpe yangu nini off day my friend kama mimi mimi Waarabu wangu wanaendanga maybe wanaenda Indonesia wanaenda Paris wanaendanga inji tofauti tofauti na baki na watoto nikibaki na watoto mi naambia watoto uh, nafunga mlango ya watoto na nafunga hii mlango yangu alafu mimi na nini lazima taa hapa zote alafu nawakisha tu kendo my friend ile siku utafanya hivyo utakuja kuniambia nawakisha tu kendo ni kendo tu peke yake naanza kuimba naimba my friend hata bible imeandikwa gives thanks to to god naimba naso, nasoma tu biblia yani unasikianga ni kama uko hapa juu ile siku uta, utajifungia tu kwa room alafu wakishe tu kendo Hakuna makelele inatoka mahali, hakuna nini na nini. My friend uta, u, u, utakuja hata utakuwa unaenda church. Hata na uso u, unasoma tu Bible, unaimba hiyo siku tuseme ulikuwa umefast. Tuseme unachukua tu unaanza kuimba, unasoma Biblia. My friend hiyo kitu unasikianga ni kama uko na Mungu. Ebu, ebu mjaribu hata kama ile siku utaenda Kenya, try this utakuja kuniambia my friend yani Mungu tafuteni uso wa Mungu na yeye atakwa tafuta kaeni ndani yake na yeye atakaa ndani yenu muiteni na yeye ataitika bisheni mlango imeandikwa in Matthew 7:7 7. when uh, when you will knock Jesus will God will open for you ukimuitisha mkate hata kupea jiwe endeni msome Matthew 7:7 7. And then musome mujione na macho my friend yani unasikianga with the presence of god yani unasikianga vizuri anyway guys subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and leave a sweet comment na kuombe hiyo familia kika wamempoteza mtoto wao kwa njia 
yenye nitatanisha hata huwezi elewa na Mungu atupigania turudi kwetu tukiwa wazima wenye wanakuja Mungu awapigania wapate manyumba mazuri wapate bosses wazuri na kama unaangalia watoto tafadhali be very careful kama kuna kazi yenye unapaswa kukua very careful ni kazi ya kuangalia watoto my friend huyo mtoto akienda tu hivi kama ni mtoto wa kutambaa aingie kwa swimming pool hawa watu wanakuua immediately huyo mtoto kama ulikuwa umemshikilia tu hivi my friend huyo mtoto aanguke accidentally akufe hawa watu wanakuua hawa juangi ati ati huu ilikuwa accident no they will kill you immediately my friend that is when you will see the true colors of warabu i'm not lying hawa warabu hey yeye mnacheza mnacheza hmm? kama unaangalia watoto tafadhali afadhali hata ufanye kazi zingine mtoto akiwa kwa mgongo mimi nasemanga nijipate nikiangalia watoto wadogo mimi na wabeba kila saa my friend mimi ile mimi niliona ile video ilikuwa ya nini ule ule mtoto alienda akaingia kwa swimming pool na wasaudi wote waka, wakatangaza kwamba huyo kadama atauliwa na ujue alikuwa mkenya na kwa sababu ni sheria hakuna vile angehepa lakini Mungu ni wa maajabu CCTV ilimuokoa CCTV iliona vile alikuwa kwa singa akiosha vyombo mtoto akatambaa haraka haraka akaenda akaingia kwa swimming pool akakunywa maji akakufa the moment ameanza kutafuta mtoto my friend akapata mtoto ame yani mtoto amekunywa maji yani hata siju mpaka mimi nilikuwa nasema haki Mungu anakuanga na sababu zake Mungu ukimuita ataitika wacheni kuogopa Mungu atawapigania Mungu atawapigania wacheni tuache hiyo story hapo bye bye